This is a continuation of the study of the family of carbonyl compounds. These families are classified depending on what is bonded to the carbonyl. Aldehydes are bonded to one hydrogen and ketones are bonded to two carbons. In a carbonyl group, since oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, this bond is polarized. So we can place partial negative charge around the oxygen and a partial positive charge around the carbon. When there is a hydroxyl group attached to a carbonyl group, the name will change to a carboxyl group. These substances are called carboxylic acids. One important difference between the family of carboxylic acids and the family of aldehydes and ketones is that these ones, aldehydes and ketones, will undergo addition reactions. The family of carboxylic acids will undergo substitution reaction. That's why we can talk about the derivatives that can be formed by the substitution of the hydroxyl group that can be replaced by a different electronegative atom, such as nitrogen, a halogen, or an alkoxy group coming from an alcohol. The reaction of carboxylic acids and alcohols will produce esters. Reaction between carboxylic acids and amines will produce amides. In this video, we are going to discuss how esters are prepared by reaction between carboxylic acids and alcohols. During the esterification, the two reactants, the carboxylic acid and the alcohol, are heated in the presence of a strong acid, such as sulfuric acid, as a catalyst. This reaction is reversible. The yield of the ester is increased by removal of water to shift the equilibrium to the right side. Since the reaction takes place at high temperature, this is an easy task. We can summarize that a carboxylic acid will react with an alcohol in the presence of a strong sulfuric acid to produce an ester. This reaction is reversible so there is a requirement of removal of molecule of water to produce the ester. Let's examine the formation of an ester. The esterification entails the breaking of two bonds. The bonds broken are the hydrogen oxygen from the alcohol and the carbon oxygen single bond from the carboxylic acid. This is followed by an exchange of fragments and the formation of a brand new covalent bond. The OH from the carboxylic acid will bond to the hydrogen from the alcohol to form a molecule of water. The oxygen from the alcohol will bond to the carbonyl to form an ester. And in this case, the ester product is methyl propanoate. This is a second example in the reaction of propanoic acid and 1-butanol. We see the removal of one molecule of water and the ester product. And the name is butyl, which is the part coming from the alcohol, propanoate, which is the part coming from the carboxylic acid. 